So we've gotten ourselves into what appears to be... Why is the throttle just on? So, last time we had a bit of a problem, and that problem is, is that we managed... Well... To get ourselves a Kerbal stuck in space. Hello, Jeb. How you doing there in uh, your little crew capsule? I hope everything's okay in there. Um, we did run into the issue that... Um, well, we don't have any fuel. Um, we only have this thing. Now, I thought long and hard about this. How am I going to um, get home? I, I I could ask Matt Lowe and ask him, Hey, um, I am going to need some, uh, you know, uh, blunder guys over here to save him. Or I could just send a dude up into space and just retrieve him. But I don't know how to do an orbital rendezvous. So that is a problem. So I came up with the following idea. At first glance... We don't have any fuel on board. I think that is wrong. We definitely have some fuel on board. We're gonna EVA. And then we are going to use the thrusters on Jeb's backpack. Push him into a lower orbit. It sounds insane. It sounds absolutely stupid. But I have a feeling it may actually work. It's stupid enough that it may actually work. Where are we going? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, we've got... Oh, no. We appear to have got... <laughs> so, we've gotten ourselves into what appears to be... Why is the throttle just on? Jeb, congratulations. We are two days, well, six days into our space program, and you are going to do your very first ever EVA. I hope you're really excited about this, because I am too. Oh, God. Um... How do I go up and down? Okay, um... Oh, uh, yeah, the spacecraft is getting away. That's the other camera. Um... Oh, Lord. Okay, how do we go down? Uh, what, what is the button here? Oh, that's, that's, that's the lights. Okay, um... Uh, un unable to remove helmet. Oh, uh, that's bad. Okay, um... Okay, oh, no, that's time increase! Oh, God, this is, this is bad. How hard could it be to fly a friggin' spacesuit? Alright, so... WASD... Oh, first we need to turn on the RCS, there we go. So, this is left, this is right, this is forward, this is backwards. Alright, so... Turn, okay, that's good. So, okay, control and shift is up and down. Commence operation... Get out and push. 64k, that's, uh, we need to get below 50 in order to, uh, you know, oh god, uh, oh god, I clicked out of the game. Uh, we have a little, we have got enough propellant in the spacecraft to do some, to something reasonable with. So we're just gonna slowly but steadily approach. There we go, on the spacecraft. How does, how does Jet even fit inside of this tiny pod, by the way? Like, I know the Mercury pods were tiny as well, but this is pretty crazy. Alright, so, so far so good. Three remaining. How is our periapsis looking? 63. Huh. Okay. Used up about half of half of our RCS. Oh, God. Alright, so... 62! But it appears to be going... Up and down. Well, it does look like we're losing some... Sp oh, oh, there we go. We're losing some speed. There we go. 61k. That is not half bad. Man, who knew that uh, getting out and pushed actually worked in space as well? And we got enough mono monopropellant, so we can basically do whatever we want. A little bit of uh, ablativeness missing, but hey, what can one do, right? So, we want to push on the bottom of the spacecraft. A little bit more, maybe. We're, uh, we're, we're a little bit high on the... Uh, like 61. Ah, oh, who knew? Who knew the space flight could be so luxurious? Alright, so... 59! Getting somewhere. Push! You can see the head. To send expensive missions up into high carbon orbit to save your astronauts, right? Let's do it like this. Uh, so how's your day going? Uh, mine's been alright. Some people are like, hey, why don't you install uh, Kerbal Engineer? Well, I don't... Oh, oh god. Uh, that right there, definitely not a good idea. Let me just, uh, quick, quick save here, just in case. We need to make sure that we don't do anything stupid. Which this obviously is. Let's be, let's be fair here. There it is. Alright, cool. 
Let's board the spacecraft. Let's get the SAS rolling. Is it gonna... Onto the periapsis. There it is. How far are we down? We could still get out and push one more time. Sure. It'll be just fine. Yeah, pushing on the round bit of the spacecraft, apparently not the best of ideas. But uh, I think we can... Uh, I think we can give it a go with another orbital approach. 51,000 meters. I am convinced this is going to be the one. Oh boy. We all have. Ah, we, we got ourselves some atmospheric entry. Excellent. Jeb, we may actually be in home in time. We, got, we can cancel the funeral. Everybody had uh, given up on you, but here we are. How are we not losing more? Are we losing speed on the other side? Oh, we are definitely lowering our orbit in here on the apoapsis. Meanwhile, Jeb is just sitting there and he's like, if I get those eggheads down at Mission Command, uh, once I get them for, you know, deploying all this garbage on me whilst I was in high orbit. Oh man, I'm just going to get them so good. Ooh, 2.3 science. Did I consider doing just um, a from orbit approach? Trying to get myself into the lower atmosphere by just, uh, you know, uh, using RCS without spacecraft? Oh, absolutely, I did try that. Uh, was that a good idea? No, no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Turns out Kerbals are actually quite explosive once they uh, reach um, terminal velocity. Something tells me this is probably not the best way of doing this. Where are we going to land, actually? Are we going to go anywhere near the, the, the space center? That would be pretty rad if we manage to do that. I doubt we will. 47,000 meters. But it does look like Operation Get Out and Push is going to be a successful one. Wow, we are dropping altitude like mad over here. Man, I'm sure somebody down on that ocean is going to be like looking up the sky. It's like, oh, it's a falling star. I can do a wish. Oh yeah, your wish is gonna be that uh, this bad boy Jep down here, the man himself, is gonna make it home alive. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Look at his face. He's so doped out. Oxygen deprivation, uh, deprivation. Not having eaten in six days. The Capri Sun ran out a long time ago. Ah, it's not good. It's not good. Now is the bit where we're gonna have to start worrying about our ablator. <laughs> yeah, because we're at 159. And that right there is not something that I'm particularly keen on. Let's just uh, keep an eye on that bad boy. That uh, periapsis is running away from us. 60,000 meters on this side. When are, where are we going to hit the ground? That is, ooh, please let it be the, the Kerbal Space Center. Oh, that would be amazing. If you managed to land at the Kerbal Space Center after all of this. Man, a little bit of Kerbin ingenuity. Who needs rocket thrusters, right? You can just use RCS. So, we're not going to make it to the desert airfield slash launch site either. So, that's a shame. But uh, one thing is for sure, this bad boy is going to hit the ground. And it's going to be very soon. In the meantime as well, we can see the ice ring around Kerbin. Um, and this is of course the... Um, we have confirmed that the flat earth theory is in fact correct. That is the ice wall. And uh, of course, there is the big disc in the sky. Uh, we're going to go and uh, go there at some point. And it's going to be Jeb who's going to do it. Because we don't leave anybody behind, even if we even if we need to get them back in the most ridiculous way. Has anybody of you seen uh, Love, Death, and Robots, specifically the episode about the woman who's stuck in orbit? This reminds me of that quite a lot. It's uh, you know, sometimes you uh, you just gotta have to generate a little bit more thrust to get where you need to go in zero g. That's exactly what we did. Okay, is this gonna be a water landing? It does appear to be the case. We're going to be on the ground in two minutes. Just got to remember to pull the parachute. Let's make sure we quick save before then. Zero deaths. Zero deaths. 4,000 meters. 3,000 meters. Time to pop the chute. Man, get those, uh, get those hero strips ready because uh, Jet is home. Oh, 95 science. That's not half bad. I mean, it means that we can probably get like two things. Let's quickly go in towards the R&D service here. Uh, basic science, yes, we need to get the science junior and the experimental bay is all some 
battery packs and stuff like that. So let's get that. Um, sadly, we can't. We, we could gotten propulsion systems to get bigger rockets and bigger tanks and stuff like that, as well as the external duct fuel duct, which is great. But uh, inline reaction wheels, cockpits, but. We're gonna need some struts because our next direction is gonna be the moon and Jeb you're gonna be our guinea pig <laughs> <laughs>